Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Inscription Casey's Mod. Just got a new starter deck and a new challenge level, challenge level eight. There's no new challenge unlocked, but I gotta get 80 challenge points. I'll repeat the single candle and more difficult modifiers. And then with these, I'm gonna go no boss cards. And I need five more. I think that's gonna be the Trapper's Pelts costing more. Uh, it's mostly gonna be difficult due to this new deck, but Hopefully I can make it work because this deck seems really interesting. It's got a black goat, which gives three blood when sacrificed and a moose buck three costing card and a mole to let you stall for it. And then two more random cards. So this is going to be very tight. Let's see. My pelts are clean. I got some sacrifice up ahead. Can I use this? Oh, I've got some interesting options. But the cat and the warren kind of help out my deck, as in they let me get to the moose buck faster. The bad news is, is that my moose buck will become my only damage. I still am going to take both the cat and the warren. This is a very different build. I'm willing to try this out because immediately I want to go for the sacrifice so I can make a super cat. I will keep around the cat because the cat looks cooler. So a cat goat. This is actually a very deadly combo because the cat doesn't die when sacrificed and it gives three blood every time. So I could get infinite three costers out onto the field with that, which is an absolutely disgusting combo. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So I will get down my cat in safety. Gladly get that moose buck now and gladly get that mole down. And then there we go, I went in two turns. So this is a really interesting start. I've never built a deck like this before. I think it'll be fun. And let's see, what else have I got? Yeah, no attack. I, I should get more attacking guards in my deck, but honestly, just looking for chonkers now. Looking for big, beefy units. Or maybe a campfire, not sure. Pronghorns is pretty beefy. Too bad it only really deals two damage right now. I'm gonna be greedy though, look for something a little better. Plus I go for Pronghorn a lot, so why not mix it up? From these, well, it didn't get too much better. Rat King is my best option. It's got two attack, that's fine. I mean, it can support a bone unit in my deck, so that's not too bad. Now I got a decision to make. I would like to go left to avoid the trapper. I could build a totem, but I'm just really not in a totem mood today. I'm just not feeling it. Why not go to the campfire instead? Give some health to a creature, sure. This might seem weird. I'm gonna do it on the Rat King, and I think I'm gonna go greedy here. I don't mind if I lose this Rat King, because in the long run, it's not gonna be that great. Didn't get it. Man, I am not getting that lucky with those, but at least my luck comes elsewhere. I'm willing to make that trade-off if that's how it's gonna be. See, I, I don't hate losing the Rat King. It's not the greatest unit. Like a 2-3 where I could get infinite three costers is not an amazing, amazing build. So here is how I want to do this. Let's go squirrel into a cat, into a moose buck. I think here seems good. And then into a warren right here as if that actually makes a difference. I mostly just don't want the moose buck to move. You know, the king fixture is going to hide during my turn. The, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, no, oh, maybe I actually do want to kill one of their, their assholes. Hmm, little sketch. Uh, do I win this? Because they deal three. And I deal three. Oh, God. Oh, this is just annoying. Okay, I didn't really think this one through. <laughs> I mean, I can just win with pliers, so maybe I should do that. But let's see, is there any way in which I just actually win? I don't know, man, this is confusing. I think I'm just gonna swap forever and ever. Actually, you know what? No, the more I look at it, the more I think I can just wait out a ton of turns and eventually I'll get what's coming to me. It's just gonna take, I think like three turns or so. Yep, just as I thought, Moose Buck should deliver the killing blow. That was just a really weird game. <laughs> yeah, so what happened, that's what happens when you only have a single attacking unit in your deck. Well, maybe I can get an expensive unit from this game of chance. I want to lose the game of chance, not hit the golden pelt. Come on. 
It doesn't have any attack! Oh, I was hoping to get something else. Well, that's fine. The sacrifice is still good here. Because now I can get rid of the Warren and put it on the Mole. So that is quite fine. I could also put it on the Golden Belt, and that I won't do. And the, the Mole's a fine host for it. Plus, I did it in the proper order. Alright, soon I will hopefully get enough units for this. Let's see now. I can't actually get down the Golden Pelt this turn. What a surprise. Well then, what I'll just do is plop down the Pelt and wait. Yeah, that's another thing I fear. The Adders? Little scary. Here's my cat. So I gotta go Squirrel into Cat. You're gonna die, and I'm gonna have to deal with it. Moosebuck will be fine, because there's no adder on the horizon. And the mole will also block. And actually, I should have enough blockers to keep me in this for the Moosebuck to win. What a weird, weird deck. Honestly. <laughs> Just so bizarre. Now I can finally get something extra. I could go for an additional blood cost. Or a blood cost of my choice, which probably seems worth it. Yeah, the Sacrifice Altar doesn't do much. The fire is okay, probably decent for the mole, but it's not as good as being able to choose my own blood cost. So show me three cost. Yeah, that seems really good. A grizzly, awesome. That's one of the three costs I was looking forward to. And the pack rat's fine. I mean, it's expensive, but it's amazing utility. So I don't hate to summon that out every game. It isn't that much more difficult. And I'm forced to get a totem half. Let's see. What am I trying to work with here? I hate this move and swap thing. I'll just take the bird head knowing that it probably doesn't matter because I'm not going to come to another totem again. Because none of them had any relevance to my deck. Now, I'm not too bad against the angler. Yeah, I'm not too bad. My units are more beefy than his sharks. Ooh, I actually don't get down the moose buck this turn. Well, yes I can. I can just plop it down with a squirrel. And I probably should do that because I have a pack rat. So let's go squirrel into mole. The mole needs flight blocking. That's what it needs. Rabbit and squirrel. This will just be moving wherever it pleases. All right, time for the moose buck to do its honest best and get him. Yeah, this fight ain't so bad. Even just a single bait bucket. Let me first get down my pack rat. I'm gonna be taking four. Don't really care though. Ooh, a squirrel back, very nice. Yeah, this is fine. I'll deal five. It'll take a little bit to get him. But I deal more than he deals me. Let's see. A cat will be awesome soon. I'll probably draw that grizzly first, to be honest. Although I could have just drawn a squirrel to block the great white. It's fine, I guess. Well, I'll block the great white through other means. And then I'll get him. And just barely get him, I will. It's a close fight, but um, Grizzly's gonna clutch it up. Thankfully, Pack Rat would have done the same, but you can never be too sure. Actually, yes, you can, but I don't know. I want to do it with the Grizzly, man. Grizzlies are cool. Uh, it's been so long since I've had any three cost cards in my deck, much less a Grizzly. Raccoon! It gathers the bones of my creatures for you. So, what does this do again? When a, oh, card bearing the central's on the board, opposing creatures also provide bones when perishing. And Sparrow and Bullfrog. Raccoon's cool, except I have nothing that actually costs bones. And as you can see, I'm not going for a bone build. How about I go for a Bullfrog as a stalling creature? I can block his flying units this way. And oh, I could also put his sigil on like the Grizzly. That would be phenomenal, actually. 
All right, we're in the Winterland, so I gotta prepare for the Trapper. I have to admit, my deck is pretty bad against the Trapper. Dire Wolf! I want that more than the cat. The Dire Wolf is so cool. A card bearing this citrus will strike the opposing space an extra time when attacking. Yeah, that's more important than the cat for me. I mean, the cat's very important, don't get me wrong, but come on. So let's merge. So let's see. Yes, I would like to put the bullfrog on either the grizzly or the moose buck. Yeah, it's going to be the moose buck because the moose buck has more HP. Therefore, it can block more flying attacks. And it can move to block different flying attacks as well. There's a lot to like here. Anyways, it's time to get him. Hide my cat safely behind the frozen possum. And porcupine is not something I mind. I'll get this here. Now, the moose buck is going to push things, so I want to get the mole in the way. Just so my moose buck doesn't start pushing and put my cat into danger. Alright. And let's get that dire wolf. Let's go... Sacrifice the mole first, and then the cat, so I can get this down here. And that should deal extra damage. Yeah, that is so cool. I love this deck. This is such a fun deck. I'm going to go right. I think, again, I would like an altar. Keeping it thin is good, unless if I can land another goat. Ooh, it is power scales in proportion to my bones. Ooh, it is a three cost half my bones. I don't have that many bones is the issue. I'm not going to get many bones over the course of the game. The cat does not generate bones. I'm going to be honest, if there's any deck to test out this card is this one. I'm going to say it right here though. I don't think this is going to be that good. This is merely just an exercise of testing. Now, if I am to thin out my deck, I would want to get rid of the pack rat, put it on something else. I've decided that I want a thin deck. Since I only have one Sacrifice Enabler, this, it actually pays to thin to win here. So get rid of the Pack Rat, put on something stronger. I'm going to say it goes on the Dire Wolf. Yes, that is the plan. Although, to be honest, getting Bifurcation on that guy would be quite funny, because if I buff it at the campfire, that's plus four attack. But no matter. All right, I did not get the thing. Excellent. But I can use a squirrel to get down the direwolf, and I'll just be just fine. Because the direwolf, like, wins. So I'll get you down here. Get this here. And actually, I take that back. I guess I don't win with the direwolf. So you know what, then? I'm going to play the direwolf to be right in front of the turkey vulture because I was thinking like there's a world I just deal four he deals three I deal four but then he's got a mole blocking so I'd rather just kill off his turkey vulture instead raven egg doesn't scare me so now I'm looking for the cat I can get it the cat kind of enables everything still looking for the cat golden pelts does not block the raven egg so I guess I just let this go. Kill the mole. He does two, I deal four. Well, all right. No, the cat's in here. I'm about to deal four. Let me block his one. So there's the cat, and then next turn I'll win for sure. Honestly, I... Well, it doesn't matter whether or not I play the cat. It's practically the same either way. Let's get this down here. Sacrifice the cat. Look at my bone count. It's five right now. So let's see, is this going to be two or three attack? Does it round up or down? Let's see. Down with two attack. All right, that is the time to find out. At the time of no consequence. Thank God there is a traitor. Time to get this garbage golden pelt out of my deck. And I get a rare card in exchange. It's really not all that bad. Uriuli is actually excellent for my deck. And I'm so glad I got it. Well, thank you very much. I, okay, the, the golden pelt was well worth it. I'm going to go left now. What am I going to thin out for my deck, though, is the question. The mole? Nah, the mole is an alternate way to get to the big units. It might be the Lammergeier. I'm not too impressed with this. I'm not going to have that many bones over the course of the game. And I don't think its power is going to be that exceptional. 
So now that I know what its deal is, yeah, just goodbye. Granted, I get a free bone right now. So it's like this becomes slightly more powerful, but I don't care. It's still the worst card in my deck by far. Goodbye. Whatever this is. Yeah, we all know it's the worst card in my deck. Does getting rid of it make my deck better is the question. I don't know how to answer that. The answer is maybe. Ooh. Okay, his deer will upgrade in power whenever they kill one of my units. Noted. Okay, bad news is I can't get down a mole. Well, sorry, I can't get down one of these. But that's fine, because the mole will stall wonderfully until I can. And next turn, I could just draw a squirrel and get one of them down. So, that's awesome. Look at that, just perfectly blocking the wild bull. Now... What do I want to summon? The dire wolf or the moose buck? I think I'm going to go with the moose buck, and here's how it's going to play out. I will get you right on the edge, and then it'll just push everything to the left, which should be very helpful. Yeah, so block in the wild bull that swaps, and then I'll get some killing done. Let's draw from my deck. And I can just wait. I got all the time in the world here. Just kidding, the wild bull's going to kill my moose buck. Which is very bad. I do not have all the time in the world anymore. Well, looking for the cat now. Did not get it. I have not many turns left to figure something out. Oh, I could just use one of the items. You know, he's gonna deal two. It's not too big a deal for that, that to happen. Well, I'll draw the cat now. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to pull the wild bull over to my side. So I will deal five. Then he'll deal... Oh, God. One, two, six. I'll deal five. He'll deal six. That's not good. Oh, but I do live through that. Yeah, I do live through that. So let's take it. Mine. And then I'll wipe him out. Hopefully. Yeah, it went that way, so it is blocking. Very good. So let's do it. Let's go squirrel into cat. Hide you behind the boulder. Dire wolf gonna go here. And grizzly gonna go here. And I win. Eventually. It'll take a little bit. But, uh, wait for the greatest overkill in the history of overkills. First, though, let me say goodbye to Direwolf and hello to Uriuli for a little extra damage. That probably won't matter. Oh, yes. Big, beefy dudes. Isn't that just so enjoyable? I don't know what sort of thing I want in my deck. So I think the campfires are for sure a go. So because of that, I want to go to here to hopefully get a black goat. Pronghorn, elk, and porcupine. Porcupine might be alright too. Or I could get greedy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get greedy. See what I get. Elk fawn's good. Well, elk fawn's well worth it. I think porcupine's better, but for my deck specifically, but this is fine. Uh, two campfires is awesome. Let's see now. It's plus two health. So, I will get that down on the mole pretty much for sure. Yeah, this may need to stall forever, and I can't risk losing this. It is one of the most essential stalling units in my deck, and I get another campfire anyway. So now, plus one attack. I don't think I need to buff up any of my beefy units. They're fine as is. They'll eventually win. I'd rather get it down like the Elk Fawn, because then it becomes a 3-4. Mole isn't bad either, but that, that plays out a little differently. Mole stalls. Elk Fawn stalls by putting decent amount of points up on the board. Dire Wolf, of course, will be worth double, but again, I don't need to buff up any of my beefy ones. I mostly want to make sure my early game is good, and uh, Elk Fawn being buffed is insane for consistency, and I cannot afford to lose this card and get out of the fire immediately, or I'll regret it. 
Alright, it's a trapper. I think I have enough sustain to beat the trapper. If I draw the mole early, it's almost the guaranteed win. Because they do not deal damage that quickly at all. Show me the mole. Okay, I didn't get it, but... I have Uraioli chances. Wait, no, I can get Uraioli down right away. What am I thinking? What am I worried about? This is the power of the cat. So cat goes just here or whatever. Elk fawn can go right here. It doesn't matter. And then I get down Uraioli. And here's the beauty of the trapper is that all I need to do is get rid of the one thing in front of the Uraioli and I'm good. So, GG. <laughs> A very unorthodox trapper fight. Unless it feels like, you know, multiple ways to block my Uraioli. Hopefully not. But this should be in my favor. Yeah, so I just get rid of the worker ant. GG. And then I'll just draw from here. Direwolf is awesome. Let me... Get rid of pliers in favor of something else. Let's see. Fan is awesome. I'll just get a worker ant down for the hell of it. Alright, good game. I love this deck. I love this deck so much. It's such a fun deck. I thought I was going to hate this deck, but it's so fun. <laughs> I mean, it did help that I got an early cat. That was like the best possible outcome. Thing is, it's not an auto win either. There are still plenty of ways to lose. Yeah, I think I just want more one cost stalling units. The Raven Egg, actually I might sacrifice its sigil for something else. Just put it on like the mole maybe or something that doesn't have a sigil yet just so it can have even more HP and attack. Let's see, trials. Okay, kin. Sigils or blood? <laughs> blood seems pretty likely, don't you think? Let's do blood. I, my deck is built for blood. It'll be hilarious if I somehow don't win with blood. Yep. Yeah, it, it would have been funny, but very unlikely. Alright, what I get? Rat King is free. Field Mice has fecundity. It is a very powerful sigil, but not one I actually want to do. I would actually maybe want to go Rat King. So let's take the free card. So now. Ooh, I do want to thin out my deck. Yeah, we're going to go to the sacrificial altar. Let's see. What do we even have? Elk fawn or raven egg? Raven egg is the better one to sacrifice. It's a worse stat line. And the raven itself is worse than the elk. Now, <laughs> what are these choices? I guess I could put it on my grizzly. Although putting on the Uraiuli is very funny. If it lives, I could get a greater Uraiuli. I'm going to put it on the Grizzly. Because Grizzly is the one between them with less HP. And letting the Grizzly become a greater Grizzly will give it more HP. So on to a fight. Yeah. Yep, got the cat down. So let's put the cat down safely in front of the rabbit. Oh, I might as well play the Rat King, huh? Actually, wait, I win right now. What am I thinking? What am I what am I worried about? Yeah. Yeah, just win. <laughs> I made the mistake before, just forgetting I can win. It's a very common thing to forget, apparently. Anyways, I cannot stand the trapper, even though I see a traitor in the rise and it doesn't change a thing. Adder is interesting. Another grizzly. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I like it more than the other two. Grizzly's just good. And time to thin out my deck. Who's going? <laughs> well, actually, it might be the Grizzly. Could be the Rat King. Yeah, let's be real right now. This is one of my weaker units. There aren't many situations where I would prefer a Rat King in my hand over a Grizzly, for example. Okay. Two, two whole bones. Okay, I didn't get the thing, but that's fine. Ooh. Hmm, this is dicey. My elk fawn's going to die no matter what. Turn one, I'm gonna pass. 
which is never a fun thing to do, but I think is okay. Look for the cat. I got the mole. Mole is quite good because actually I don't quite get there, but I have some good prospects now. I'm going to go the mole into this spot and then pass. I guess it actually didn't matter where I put the mole. Come to think of it. All that matters is that the mole locks. There we go. Looking for the cat still. Found it. And now I should be winning. So let's go. Rabbit into cat. Into the tooth. And I will go dire wolf right here. Sure. And a little moose buck right here. Perfect. There you go. Probably not losing now. And just keep digging. Ooh, Ryuli time. Yeah, let's get that down. Why don't I? Who needs that mole? And it's GG. One last extra big thing. Well, it's basically the same, no matter how I spin it. Yeah, just draw the cat and win. Um... That is scary that I am that reliant on the cat. I really could use an additional way to uh, make the cat work or make the blood cost work. Hopefully I get a three blood sacrifice thing here. Okay. HP seems pretty likely with all these heavy HP dudes. I actually have only three cards that don't have six or more HP. And if I have all of them, then I make it. So this is guaranteed to win. Yeah, everything's so beefy. Right, show me some sort of blood. Didn't get it, but Coyote's pretty good. Coyote helps me search for the cat. Yeah, Magpie Sigil's quite good. Four bones is not too hard to come by. So now... Do I have anything I can sacrifice? Elk Fawn, I guess. I'm okay with getting rid of the Elk Fawn in this scenario. I almost went to the wrong way. Is that the only thing I can sacrifice? It is. That's not terrible. This one's gonna go on the damn Uraiuli. Just for the hell of it. Because why not? And then I see some mushrooms in my future. Very nice. Thank you for the bones. Hey, I got the cat. Looks like I win. I'll just play it like this. We'll do cat underneath the raven since that will never kill it and i'll put the grizzly just in the open lane i'll deal four he'll do four and then i'll deal 11 actually 12 because the grizzly is gonna level up show me that greater grizzly elder grizzly a five eight beautiful all right 12 damage incoming this is a big numbers I, I it's been a while since i've done a big number um, centered build. They're fun every now and then, and I'm appreciating the now and then. Um, hmm. I don't like bone cost right now. Even raccoon, don't like it. Let's look for better. Coyote, on the other hand, is okay. Let's try to make that work. I am gonna go to mycologist for sure. The question is, what do I combine? The grizzlies or the coyotes? Hmm. Let's see. I don't think I need my Grizzly to be 812. What I actually need is to make sure my deck stays thin, because realistically, I cannot summon both Coyotes in a single game, but getting out the 4-2 guy might be well worth it. I should be able to get to 4 Bones, especially since I start at 2. But getting to 8 Bones, that's a bit less likely. And yeah, it also helps get a bad card out of my deck. Now, well, now it's campfire time. I don't know what I'm looking for at this point. So plus health, how do I play this? Everything is a ton of HP now. Let's go with Coyote. Six up health is enough for the mole. A 4-4 four four is a very strong unit. Now I won't even feel compelled to sacrifice it <laughs> if I um, draw the cat with it. Like I might as well just save the cat for a future turn. Prospector, I should be good against. I have enough sustain to make it work. But if I lose the cat, then it is lights out, so I don't know. Really, Coyote kind of makes sense. 
Because what I could just do is just block his stuff with squirrels and then get down the coyote. Yeah, block his stuff with squirrels, get down the coyote, draw the cat, and then win. Should be good. One more turn of this. Okay, that's getting a little scary, but away we go. So now I'm going to take a squirrel. We'll go coyote into cat. Do I get down the cat now? I want to say no. I think I go for another blocking squirrel here. I just keep blocking with squirrels while my coyote eventually wins. His stuff is going to be a little too slow, I think. Oh, that pack meal's annoying. Here's how I'm going to play this again. I'm going to go squirrel here. I'm going to give my coyote flight. I want to hit the pack meal. I deal the four, and the next turn after the pack meal moves, I'll be able to deal lethal. So that's just perfect. Oh, but then what? He's going to keep his wolves, isn't he? So I have to block one of his wolves with a squirrel. So he will at most do three damage. Actually, kind of terrifying. I think I'll be all right. Yeah, you've struck gold. Okay, now I will be all right. Shoo! So now I can get into safety, put my cat down right behind that pack mule, get down my grizzly, and come out clutch. I forgot, his wolves don't attack. It's not often that has to matter, so I don't really think about it often. Um, yeah, Uraiuli should be just winning, as is. Let me, let me actually do this. Do a little moose buck. Here's how I win right now. I go Uraiuli instead of grizzly. Pop it down here, and then I go moose buck to get the damn bloodhound out of the way. GG. Time for the moon. Bring on the moon. It's not going to know what hit it. It's going to be absolutely destroyed as if a planet collided into it. Uh, between these, magpie is quite good. Especially if I can get a altar sacrifice. Yeah, show me the pie. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so there's the altar. First, let me make sure that there can be a host for the magpie. That's actually helpful for me. Um, so my host options are expensive cards. Because, yeah, I can't sack the magpie. It's just going to go on something expensive, which will defeat the purpose. Sure, magpie is expensive, but it's not as expensive. It's different. Yeah, hey, you know what? Maybe I can get a completed totem. Maybe with the... You know, Ravenhead, I can get something good for my magpie. I got bees and flight. Oh, yes, my birds can have flight. Sure, I'll have this spawn bees. Because maybe that will matter in some world. I doubt it will, but we'll see. All right, I've got a, I think, a full pack. Oh, no, awkward. I should have gone for the pack. I thought I had a full pack. I was mistaken. Well, time for the fight. All I need is the cat. Yes, final test. This shouldn't be too bad. I have scissors, I have decent stall, and my deck is so thin. But the prospector can, could completely own me. Um, didn't get there. Hate to see it. So Malgum's gonna come down. Here's how I'm gonna play this then. I'll go possum just in front of the amalgam and I will wait hate to wait a turn but it's fine mantis got on the way let's look for the cat didn't get it I guess I could have just gone for the grizzly now that I think about it this might seem weird but I'm gonna cut up the amalgam and pass which seems really odd but he's about to prospect to me so I get a possum Oh, but it still dies to the Mantis God. Ah. For some reason, I was hoping he would do it after his turn. Alright, show me the cat. Coyote lets me get the cat. All is good in the world. Let me kill off this Mantis God. 
I don't want to deal with it anymore. So I got the cat. Now, is there's no prospector anytime soon, so I can feel pretty safe in this. Just make sure my cat doesn't die at the amount. Let me get you right here. And then, mole first. So I can sacrifice some stuff here. I'm going to put down the rabbit, and I'll get down the Urai Uli. So that will kill the Mole Man. The Amalgam will come in. Then I won't be able to kill him regardless. So I think I'll just let this ride. Yeah, let it ride. Take it slow. I don't care if he's going to pull anything. Although that's a little annoying. He's a greater Urai Uli, though. Okay, hold on. I'll draw for my deck. Dire Wolf's not too bad. I'm okay if he takes the Dire Wolf. Mole sacrifice first, then cat. Get the dire wolf just down here so he focuses his attention on it. And then my greater Uraiuli will live another day. I get hit for four, but I know I can take that. Yeah, still hurts a little. Alright, and now I get him. Guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grizzly here. And the bones are just useless. But at least he's not prospecting me for a bit. Yeah, stumps are fine. Elder Grizzly. And that's my whole deck. <laughs> Magpie doesn't really matter to me. Oh no, my cat's gonna die. Oh, that's so sad. I think it's fine at this point. I have enough beef on the field that I'll be okay. Wants the trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip cat, but it's fine. I'll have enough squirrels to make the world go round. And it's moon time. And let's be real. These things stole of the moon anyways. Let's go out of the woods. Win with the beefy deck. Yeah, I know. You gotta trick up your sleeve. Your moon has one attack. My board has a combined 17. Why <laughs> dare attack the moon? Of course I will. Easily. To me, I can't, like, do anything unless I want to sacrifice one of my good units. But all's well. Not only got a kill, good on you, Moon. I'm so proud of you. Wow, great effort. Let me just get down to Magpie for one extra damage. Got him. Yeah, this was a very fun deck. It was very one-dimensional, no denying it. It's one of those decks I do once and then never again, because you get the idea. Uh, we've been having quite a few of those, but it's it's been fun that they've been different, at least. So, another one taken down, got a new card, Red Heart. I love that I'm getting new cards still. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made dur during your turn. Okay, so if I happen to sacrifice two creatures on that day, it will be a 2-2, two -two, or on that turn, rather. I feel like most likely it's going to be a 2-2, two -two, which means it's going to suck. Ooh, a new challenge unlocked. Cards in starting deck have one less health. Wait, is that even possible with the Ringworm deck and Mantis God? Everything in that deck has less one less starting health. Do they just have no starting health then? I have to know. <laughs> I will find out next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Challenge level 9 coming up next. Have a wonderful day and peace.